Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 27th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for taking some time. End of another busy week in the markets, uh, maybe a little less volatility on rates. Some suggestions that we might be seeing the, the peak interest rates in the market for this uh, tightening cycle. What did you see? Uh, well, I, I I think I agree with that. The uh, you know, gross domestic product accelerated to 4.9%. We saw those numbers this morning on an annualized basis. And and that was up pretty dramatically from the 2.1% from the previous quarter. So that's the fastest pace in two years. But, um, you know, and also uh, consumer spending, which is really the growth engine for the economy, also uh, jumped in the third quarter to a 4% annual rate. So, um, you know, I think it's widely expected, as you said, to kind of moderate in the coming months. The Fed uh, meets next week. I think most uh, most everybody expects there to be um, uh, no move in rates, but kind of keeping another move uh, on, on the table. I think uh, Powell sort of telegraphed that a little bit last week in a speech. But um, you normally know, with a normally with a GDP number of that size, you might expect bonds to sell off, but they they actually rallied instead, right? Yeah, I, uh, I think that's because you get um, the uh, you know in terms of inflation of inflation, you had um, the core PC price index came out, and that was increased a less than forecast 2.4%. So that was down from 3.7% in the previous quarter. You also had inventories were were higher. So I think that um, you know a lot of these numbers are kind of backwards looking and and uh, the inflation um, number was a little bit better than expected. So um, I think that's why the market um, uh, was pretty steady today. So you know you mentioned the volatility. I mean if the last couple of weeks we've seen Pretty, uh, pretty amazing volatility. I mean, uh, one point or bigger moves in the treasury market is, are almost a, you know, a common occurrence at this point. Uh, two weeks ago, um, the, the, there was a lot of strength in the market. Last week uh, was a very ugly week uh, for the market, and this week we've had a lot of volatility. But you know, all things said, none at the end of the week were uh, pretty close to where we started the week. Uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of munis. Uh, there really is, um, uh, you know, a lot of value in the market. You've got AAA munis are back to a 465. That's up uh, 75 basis points uh, over the last two months. And so you really are starting to see, uh, even, even though there's, a you know, been a spike um, in rates and a lot of volatility, I think you're really starting to see a lot of investor interest back at these, at these levels. So uh, you had a big calendar. Last week, uh, twelve point eight billion. This week, uh, we're right around ten billion. I think at last at last count, and uh, and the market's absorbing that supply pretty pretty well. Um, and you're even seeing a particular demand on the long end. Again, just reinforcing that idea that investors are seeing value. They want to lock in these yields for the long term. Uh, absolutely. So you know, A rated, double A rated, uh, you know, very credit worthy municipals are back behind a five percent. Uh, so I think. People tend to buy the rate cycles. Uh, it wasn't long ago we were at a three percent. So um, I think uh, you know, we we may be at the high end rates, but I think back at five percent and cheaper, um, you know, a lot of investors are comfortable putting uh, muni money to work. So it's been good. And at these higher rate levels, people are also seeing value in insurance. A very active week for BAM. Eight hundred and fifty-eight million dollars of uh, new issues priced in the primary market. What stood out to you? Uh, you know, I, th I think you do tend to see more insurance used in, uh, you know, in markets um, that we've been seeing. Our also our secondary insurance volumes are also up. That's insuring bonds that have already been issued in the market. But as you point out, in the primary market, we earlier in the week there was a five hundred million dollar Chicago Midway Airport deal uh, that was insured. Um, uh, that was priced by Jeffries and ended up doing very very well. The the max yield bonds uh, on that were back around a five and a half percent. They were subject to AMT, but that deal uh, in a very heavy week with a lot of volatility actually got repriced uh, to lower yields because there was an oversubscription uh, today. In addition to um, the Midway deal uh, today, there was 140 million Cape Coral, Florida utility deals priced with them. That was a Morgan Stanley deal. Uh, we just talked to the underwriter there. That deal is uh, is done and completed um, at the at the original yields and um, and and so you know I think that uh, insurance in these markets we tend to see a little bit higher penetration generally. 
And for viewers who want to learn more about that Cape Coral transaction, our colleague Greg Pacifico recorded a BAM Credit Insights video about that. It's available on our YouTube page. Uh, for more information about that, uh, please uh, click the link above. Thanks for your time this week, Grant. I know uh, next week's calendar is still forming, about 140 million of uh, BAM insured paper on the uh, calendar from all across the country, California, Indiana, Texas, uh, and we'll see how the competitive market shakes up. So uh, yeah, I mean, there was, I meant, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I uh, meant to mention it's a very light calendar for some reason next week. It looks like total total volume is down, you know, below 3 billion or so, and that's after you know, 22 billion or so the last uh, combined the last two weeks, so. And that certainly would follow the the uh, cycle we've seen the last couple of uh, times of people avoiding the Fed meeting. So uh, exactly. perhaps uh, exactly. that's, uh, well, you know, issuers uh, got their deals done and uh, waiting to see what happens next. Thanks for your time. Have a great weekend. Okay, thank you.